Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome to my channel, Dee Plants and Budgets. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. It is Friday. It is time to do Freebie Friday and it's time to do the special Pig Pox Outbreak Build-A-Farm this month. I'm doing this a slightly different than some of the others. I'm doing it just with the free versions and I've taken some other things and I've worked it out so that I can make a complete challenge uh, just by changing some of the freebies around. This, of course, is from Income Babes. Let's start with doing this one right here. Now, I have, for this week, 10, 20, 5, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, and 50. And then from last week, I had left two, one, two, and three dollars. I need these 50 cent pieces for some of the um, challenges. I had my uh, trackers for this week one and week two are complete. So this is for week three. This is so I can track the amount of farm mullions and report those to Income Babes. I am doing it a bit differently. Every week I go to work, I'm paying a total of $12.50 into this one right here. So 12 and 50. And it goes in here. And as you can see, I consolidated it last week. So I need the whole bills in there today. And now this one is done. I don't need to cross anything out. That's the cost of my rent and the cost of going back and forth to work every day on the bus. Can't afford the good stuff. I need to get dice here. By good stuff, I mean Uber or a car. All right. Next thing. I'm going to go here and we're going to complete my tasks. So sign into work. That is what I just did. I went ahead and paid for my... Uh, way to get back and forth to work and I paid my rent. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to deliver samples to the lab. I'm going to take a dollar out of here because when we get done I'm going to consolidate it. So in doing the samples to the lab I'm paying 50 cents for each sample. Let's see what I'm marking off today. Let's use this little purple color today. And I'm marking off a three so that's 75 cents. Or I'm sorry, a dollar fifty plus three is four fifty plus four. Oh, I marked the wrong one off. Okay, so that's so six and four is ten plus three, so that's six fifty. Seven and eight, nine, ten dollars. Well, that worked out perfectly. Let's go ten dollars. I'm going to have a lot of these to finish next week. Well, you know what? I may not be able to deliver all the samples to the lab. That is okay. Let's put this $10 in here. All right. And we're going to flip back here. And this is now done. Got my samples delivered to the lab. Next thing I'm going to do is update my patient files. Come over here to my patient files. We're going to roll a dice. I'm paying one for each patient file. What do I have? Four. I'm going to pay $4 into here today. Okay. Some of these I will not get done. That is okay. Do I have a dollar in here? I do. So four, and we're going to take the one out for five. $11 in my patient files. All right. And, I'm here. and my patient files are complete. So I should have a total of $3 in here now. One, two, three. Okie dokie, next. I've got to go check the vitals. Uh, she is, uh, see, and by she, I mean GB, is playing a little game where she is, um, like you're figuring out a mystery. I have not been doing that. But for this one, I am going to the hospital and I'm sneaking into rooms and I'm taking their vital signs. I guess because that's just how I want to do it. So I'm rolling a D12 uh, and I'm paying 50 cents each. So three is $1.50. Did I do this where I did it last week? Yes, one, two, three is $1.50 and I can do another one. And then one, so that's $2 and let's do one more dice. $2 and one, two, three, four, two. So I had one, one, three is four and four is eight. So that's $4 total in money going in here. Let's see what I have in terms of change. I am going to be out of money. I'm not going to get to grow any corn or anything. So 
I need four dollars. I guess I'll put this back and grab the five. Alrighty. I'm gonna go back here. And I now have my vitals checked. I will just, I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna save a total of six or just put it in right now because of change purposes. So now I need to go and collect samples from the lab and I am using this one right here. It was the old garden one. And for this one, I'm just rolling a D6. I'm gonna see how many I get. Five, $2.50 going in here. One, two, three, four, and five. $2.50 going into this challenge. Let's see if I have change. Okay, so first let's go this. Two, four, and five. And take this $5 bill. And then now I need two fifty. So let's put this and this back and grab this five. Ten dollars. Four, eight, twelve. Wait. Two, four, six, eight, ten is exactly what I should have. Okay. And back over here we go. Flip all the money around. Let's go ahead and mark off the last two of these. Okay. And six dollars is going into here. And you know what? Before I forget or go any further, I need to mark down my farmoleons. So for getting back and forth to work. All right. So each week in today is the what? This is going to go up on the 17th. So I need um, work is 35,000 farmoleons and tasks are 6,000 farmoleons. And then at the lab, how much did I collect at the lab? I think it was eight, right? No, it was 10, 10K farmoleons. That was the lab. And here was 4,000 farmoleons. And that was at the samples. And vitals was three, four, eight, 8,000 farmoleons for samples. And then delivering at the pharmacy was five, was 5,000 farmoleons. Okay, so now let's see what I have left to do for feeding my pigs. I have two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and $14. So hold on. Grab a 10 real quick. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10. All right. This is all going to go into pig money. All right. How many pigs are we going to do to start? We're going to do three. So that's $1.50, $4.50 all together. Okay. So three pigs. All righty. Let's put this up here. Let's color some tomatoes. So three pigs and then three tomatoes. Okay, so that's four fifty going in. So let's do five fifty back and take this ten. Okay, and let's see what else we're gonna do. I've got enough to do it again. Another three, so that's another four fifty, and then we're gonna stop after that so I don't go over. Let's do another three pigos here. Okay, so another 450. And let's take this five and this, and we'll bring back one. Okay, so this now has 10, 15, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 25, 50. All right, this one is done. And let's put this three, four, five dollars in here. That'll be for next week. Let's add up our farmoleons for this week and see what they were. So 86,000 farmoleons. Yay! Which equaled $43 in cash. But she cracks by farmoleons and my I do my units differently. 
So we're good. I will report 83,000 farmoleons. Let me get everything ready for um, randomizer and I'll be right back. All right, I have got my freebies out. I have got my bank and we're gonna do two rounds. This is for buyback. This is gonna be for rounds. This is like Hey K does it because I didn't have enough to exchange. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 to start. And we're putting these in different positions. I'm gonna get them ready and then come back. All right, let's talk about each of these challenges real quick from this one right here, Bookish Mama Budgets. It's an eyeball, I love it. This one is from Chatty Cathy and it's a fall one. I have a, or I have some Halloween ones of hers. This one right here is from Sarah Saves 07, Aisha M Budgets, and she is just on Ko-Fi. I shouldn't say just on Ko-Fi, she's a big presence on Ko-Fi. Ducky Budgets right here, and then this one is Cash Money Budgets with a Z. Let's roll and see where this money is gonna go. I do just one at a time because I only have, sorry, I only have um, $25 that I'm doing. Kind of makes it a little hard to play these rounds, but I can go inside and get change as well. And one, and six, is anybody else gonna get any? There we go, two, and five, and four. There we go, everybody got something, and two, and one, and five. So let me see, we're gonna go one, oh, I have five here. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do this buy back here. And do I have anybody else close? One, two, three, nope, nope. Okay, I'm gonna do Aisha budgets, a total of five, just so I can buy back. But when I get done, I'll count the total. I will count nothing but the entire total. There we go. And then this gives me ones to play with again. So one and six and three, four, five, three, one, five, five and six okay let's get these over to let's start with this one so i don't forget what i did that's aisha m budgets let's get these out of the way here and let's start with this one so i, I said i had to take it and grab the total so total now is six and we have four five and six there we go that's how I handled that. I might get some prop twos out if that would help me not have to have these fives. Because one, two, three, four, five, that works. Because I wanna have these um, bills and I don't wanna get them confused. So these are $1 a piece. I'm gonna get the one that will color faster. Dollars total in this one. That's good to go. Okay. And then on this one, on Ducky Budgets, one, two, three, four, five. All right, let's grab another five out of here. These two fives, let's take a 10. Okay, and we had five dollars in here. We're just crossing off one, two, three, four, ooh, five. Well, that's good. Perfect, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven dollars. I need a prop bill, I'm gonna put that up and out of the way. Let's grab a prop bill, this goes into Mr. Sloth. And let me grab a paper clip for now. Well, there goes a paper clip down. And what are we doing next? We have this adorable little ghost from Madeline Budgets. No money in there today, but we will be doing it next week when it comes back. How fun is that? So one, two, three dollars here. 
let's get these colored in. And what color do I want to do today? How about purple? All right, so I have a total of $9. Hold on just a minute. We need to do this. I'm going to be right back. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, nine, and ten. And I'm going to take this right here and grab this one prop bill. I need, to grab, I need to put this back for the prop bill that I grabbed. I think I need to take this one out. I'm sorry. It could be confusing everybody. Sorry. So $4. I'm trying to not do any prop ones in here because I don't want to get them confused. So $9. But I need ones to exchange. So maybe we'll just keep those there. Okay. And then on this one. Oh my goodness, you know what? We're stealing one because I want to get this one done. It's done with fall. I want to get Chatty Cathy's um, Halloween one in there. This one just has not been getting any love. So I stole it out. Who did I steal it from? Oh, bookish mama. She won't care. She's a, she's a share. So one, two, three, four, and five. That's good. And let's take this. 5, 10, 15, and $20 in this one from Chatty Cappy. I'm just going to put it right there. And then next, we're going to grab out Chatty Cappy's Halloween. And we'll start that next week. I think next week's going to be the last week we can start Halloween ones. And then here we have a, a 5 and a 6. I'm going to count this up total to make sure I didn't mess it up. So one, two, three, that's $8. I'm going to grab this two and this one, right? So now I have only prop twos here and this one. I'll count it at the end and make sure that it is right. And let's get this. So I need a total of eight. Right. $8 total in this one. That's good to know. And let me count up because I might have made the mistake when I took this prop one out. So let me count these real quick. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three. Nope, that's correct. And twenty-five. So I have twenty-five in my bank with a prop two. Phew! It all made sense in my head, but I wasn't sure if it was going to make sense in the end. All righty, I'll put all this away after I am done with you today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your week. And until the next one, bye.